Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am so glad that you're here. Today we are talking about the Ryobi 18 volt rotary speed saw. This is a particularly really awesome tool for specific applications. I've had her for a few years now. I can't remember how many years, but I've always kept the box because I keep the tool in the box. And something that the box says is it says over 50 great one plus tools. So that tells you how long I've had it. Now it's over 175 tools. So anyways, um, the really cool things about this tool is that it is a plunge tool and you have a drill bit or uh, a cutting bit that goes into the colette in here and it go, the colette can fit a quarter inch or an eighth inch. Uh, the reason why it does both is you can put uh, certain other bits in there that you may put on your uh, router and that's okay. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that just because I don't think the motor is really that strong and that it would be able to take a a lot of that force maybe in a short term but the applications that people typically use these for are plunge cuts around outlets and when they're doing drywall this is particularly good on drywall you have a couple different types of bits that you can use you can use uh, a cutting head bit which uh, plunges down into and it can route out on different uh, depths in your material then you have other bits and let me just get a close-up of this real quick so this, as you can see, is a rotary cutting bit. So you can go down into material and you can route out at different depths. This is a plunge cutting bit. And the reason why it's a plunge is because it goes through the material. See how this is smooth all the way around? It goes through the drywall and it actually uses the box or whatever that you're touching as a template and it routes out around it without actually damaging that material. And that's what this tool is most known for. It does have an adjustable shield here and that's adjustable uh, to around an inch or an inch and a half. It says an inch on the box but I'm, you know, I can get about an inch and a half out of it. And that's really particular because whenever you plunge the drill bit into a material uh, you don't have to worry about going too deep. You can set the depth on here and then you can just route out without having too much of collateral damage within the wall itself. Uh, this also has 27,000 RPMs, which is a big telltale of one thing. Don't use it on plastic. If you use it on wood, you will have the uh, ability to create smoke very, very fast. So I necessarily don't recommend this for wood, not for plastic. Really, it's a specialty tool for drywall. And if you do a lot of outlets and do a lot of drywall, it's worth it. Um, so this is one of the older tools and it does have a brushed motor inside it, which is okay. And, and obviously it doesn't have any of the extra contacts to make it an HP tool. Uh, so today let's talk about a couple tests that I want to do with this and I want to mock up a kind of a real life situation. As you can see here, I have a couple two by fours clamped to the table and I have a box mounted. I'm gonna take a piece of drywall and I'm gonna mount it here over top of the box and uh, we're actually just gonna plunge and route around the box so you can see how it actually works. We're gonna show both sides of the drywall to make sure you have a good understanding of safe to use around the box itself. And considering this is plastic, that's pretty important, right? You don't wanna melt it and you don't wanna damage it. And uh, considering it's up against a stud, yeah, you want to make sure that you're not going to go into the stud when you're routing on the uh, stud side of the box itself. So without further ado, let's give this bad boy a shot. Okay, so whenever you put your drywall on, you want to take what's called just a known point. So either your floor or your ceiling. You want to take a measurement from that. And right here to the top of my box, this is right around 12 and 3 quarters. So we want to remember that's 12 and 3 quarters. We'll make our plunge right at 12 and 3 quarters because it's going to be blind as soon as we put the uh, drywall on. So let's go ahead and put this on. As you can see, it goes right over top of it. We're not going to put all the screws in just yet, but we're going to put the ones in just to make sure we have it in place and it's gonna stay there. 
Okay, so let's make sure that we set our depth just right. And I, what I want it to do is just, just go on the inside of the drywall. Make sure that we can use the box as a template. So this is 12 and 3 quarters. We're going to go in. I know that the box is right along the stud here. So we'll go to the known. We want to apply pressure on all sides. there you go you've routed out the box and it sits right on you can then go ahead and put your screw in and you're good to go so all in all this is a great tool especially you know, for the applications that it's in, when you do use it, it's very, very useful. So I keep it around, even though I don't use it that much. If you like trades and you like building stuff, why don't you head on to my other channel? It's called Trade Talk. I promote the trades as much as possible. We have a shortage in our trades, and we really need to get the next generation into the trades. We need to keep our built environment going. We need to keep our professionals uh, growing as well, advance our industry and uh, really promote that so head on over the link is in the description but back to this video if you liked it please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one take care